So, hello and welcome back. Now today we're going to start putting the snorkel on the truck. So, this is a bit uh, ambitious. This looks quite a... It looks like one of those jobs if you get it wrong. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's not do that. All right. Uh, so we're going to take a bit of time with this. So let me show you the kit, what I've got. Off trick. Now, when I bought this snorkel, there was like five versions and they all ranged in completely different prices. One was, this one was sort of 70 quid, I think. Some of them were like 280, but it was identical. Literally, it was identical to this one with this, exactly the same piece, identical um, snorkel, top, and all the other little bits and bobs. So this is what you get. All right, let's sort this out a little bit. So I don't really 100% know uh, what we've got here. I haven't even looked yet. So the instructions for this, considering you have to drill holes in your vehicle, um, <laughs> in places where if it goes wrong, it's completely ruined forever. Well, until you get a new wing, uh, there's no instructions. So um, it's a bit of a bit of an unknown how it goes really. I mean, I watched one video of some guy doing it on YouTube and the bit of the video I wanted to see, uh, they didn't show it, so that was pointless. So we've got two longer rivets, four shorter rivets, two, three stainless steel, but one's painted black. Well, I'm guessing that's the one that goes on the top of there. Got the washers, these little, that's what you call them. Oh, I didn't realize there was a thing in them. Don't know what you call them. Um, studs, there we go. So like the so I'm doing this on a trailer and it's, it's on a bit of an angle. They must be the studs for here. So if I turn this over, let you have a look. So they must be the studs for there. Um, we've got these little fastenings here. I'm presuming they're the ones for the top three, because there's three of them. There's your bracket. Uh, that has to screw into your window, window pillar post, it looks like. It looks a bit of a, that looks a bit of a game. Um, they must be washers for the, when you've drilled the old free wing. Uh, why we've got so many rivets, I don't know. Now, I'm presuming when you drill this into your windscreen pillar, uh, you must pop rivet it to your, to your windscreen pillar. Um, that is the... I'm not looking forward for that piece. And I'm not looking forward for that piece. I'm not looking forward for any of these bits. <laughs> so, um, yeah... This this looks to me how it's going to go. Uh, there's your bit that goes in your in your wing, and here's the other bit that goes in your wing as well. Now, how this goes together, I I don't have a clue. I'm not the foggiest. Um, I'm presuming this one goes on there. This one comes through your wing and joins onto your airbox rubber pipe. Maybe I don't know. Like I say, it's a bit of an, un this is a very, very unknown what I'm doing right now. And this is your, so I've already pulled, I've already cut this out. Well, not cut it out, it was sort of like a tear, but you can see the scissor, half the scissor mark there. So this is what I've got. Now, as you can see, line up with the top of the fender. As I say, line up with the right of the fender. So we're gonna test this on the back of the snorkel first. So we've just lined it up for now. Now the problem I've got is this is the newer shape, with the newer type headlights and the newer front. Um, so there should be an indicator here. It's the same body, the same interior as the, other, the, the previous shape. I don't know what you call the previous shape. Is it mine's just like the facelift version? So apparently all this fits right. So uh, let's hope we're right on that. Um, so this is the best I've got it, and I'm just gonna we're gonna tape it a lot more than this. Don't worry. This is just a you know so you can get a good idea what we're looking at. Um, next we're gonna take the wheel off and the uh, inner arch. Check there's nothing behind there before we drill through because we could ruin something forever. Um, and I'm gonna have like 12 opinions on this before I even drill it. So. Uh, let me come back to you. So I've just took the inner arch out. Look at that. 
Wow. Wow. That is ridiculous. I'm going to have to take the other arch off now and clean in there because it was this, this size this bad. That one's definitely bad. Um, so you can see where the air box is going to go. And you can see up there where we're going to drill it. So theoretically, it doesn't look ridiculous yet. So there's the original air intake pipe. So it's bolted on in two places. Quite easy to get to. That one's a bit fiddly, but not too bad. So now the scary bit. <laughs> right, let's uh, get on with it. There's no going back now. <laughs> so all I did was drill the little holes and just filing it round. Um, yeah, so there's no going back now. Well, the holes seem to be in the right place anyway. So yeah, not bad. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I'll file that all around. So I've put some temporary bolts in just until I put this bracket on here. Now this I really have no idea on at the minute. So hopefully I'll have more of an idea in a minute. I don't know what it, if you can see under here. And there we are. I've only put a couple on. But yeah, we're getting there. At least it's in the right place. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. So uh, yeah, let me work this bracket out because I don't understand this at all. So bear with me. So for a start, I've got to take this windscreen edge off. Because I think you have to drill it underneath. But there's one. Look, it's loose anyway. There's a bolt missing and everything. So let me... Uh, get this off and we'll have a look because i really am lost at the minute so when you're giving the snorkel the dry run on like i do i always give everything a dry run take this piece of the edge of the windscreen first because you uh <laughs> you struggle to get back to it all right but uh yeah so looking at it i have to drill holes in here somewhere oh i hate drilling holes in bodywork <laughs> so uh yeah let's uh find out where it all goes so like i say i'm giving it a dry run and then we'll bolt that bit on properly and then mark it, take it all off, drill all the holes, and then we're gonna paint all the holes we've drilled in it so we don't get no uh, rust issues. But I think it's gonna look all right. Mm. Yeah. They don't tell you about this one, you have to cut that out, do they? No. But no, it's good. Good job. So they're all rust proofed. Hammerite on the both sides, siliconed around all the bits. So it's going quite well, um, considering. I wouldn't say it was the easiest thing in the world I've ever put on a vehicle. Um, the template's not bad, but uh, it isn't. I wouldn't say it was 100%. Like I say, you got to test it before you put it on, which I did. Um, and I'm now about halfway through. Well, I'd say three quarters of the way through. Just took the air box out and I'm trying to put this new piece of piping that comes along. But there's a rubber gasket that goes between the car and can you see it? There you go. And it's it's very tight in there, so I can't seem to push it on in between at the minute. And there's the pipe at the top. Like I say, all on the back edge. We've rust we've put some like paint on. Hammerite actually, we've gone for a bit of hammerite. Uh, and then, like I said, as soon as I get this air box done, I can start putting it back together again. Uh, and like I said, the snorkel's actually on. Yeah. Now, I know I didn't show you much of this window screen pillar uh, drilling. Uh, that I have to say, that is, that's a bit rare. And to be honest, the bracket that come, in my opinion, was the wrong angle, slightly. Just slightly, so I adjusted it by bending it into what I thought was right. Uh, <laughs> paid off, because it's actually fit all right now. But like I say, you, I had to cut part of the inner bit of trim of this that you can't, you'd never know it now, but um, that's something that nobody know, no one tells you about. And what's this on my face? Oh dear. So um, yeah, so hopefully in another hour or so I should get the whole thing finished, put back together again, that'd be nice. So there we go, that's on, the rubber bits back in. Now, I've seen people seal this with silicon. Um, 
make it 100% watertight, uh, which I think is a good idea. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I think, yeah, no, still, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's not do half a job. Uh, and now I've just got to connect them two bits of pipe together with this. Put a Jubilee clip on, and then put the top bit on, and then I've got to clean up. See that when I chopped that big bit out, look, I drilled it all round, and I filed it all the way round, and yeah. So that weren't too bad. And then I've got to put the wheel arch back together again. Uh, let's hope I can remember how to do that, because there's about 100 different screws and clips, but it's all in the brain somewhere. But yeah, I think that's looking all right, don't you? It's gonna look all right. Never fitted one before, quite happy with it so far. So uh, yeah, let's get the air box. I've just put the air box, like I say, back in. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna blow the filter out. Uh, I'll put all this back together again. Silicon round here, um, like I say, and yeah, go from there, really. I mean, it's gonna be awkward silicon in it. Well, actually, I can do it through there. So that's not, no, 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 it's not as bad as it looks, no. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. It's probably been easier to silicon it out, but it's, I don't know, it's sort of awkward that is for me. I found that pe but doing that piece awkward. So uh, yeah, let's see how we go. So there we go. That's all connected. Now I've just got to put the wheel arch back together again. And put the top on the snorkel and then we can stand back and uh, have a look. Oh. Right, let's get this, uh, let's get this back in. So there we go. There's actually a dent on this wing, but there was actually another one right there, so we've actually hidden one, so we've done well there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've just got to put the top on now. And um, we've got these two little stickers to put on it. Off trick. So, uh, yeah, we've got a nice black Jubilee clip for that. So it's gonna look quite smart. So yeah, apart from that, it's all done. So uh, yeah, let me just get that on and we'll have a look. So there we have it, it's fully on, it's working, it's all good. Yeah. So very happy with that. First ever snorkel I've put on a motor. I had an old Army Land Rover once and it, that already had one on it, but never actually fitted one to a vehicle. Next thing I wanna do is get some of them all-terrain tires for it. But these aren't worn out yet, these have got another few months left on them yet well maybe even six months so uh yeah so very happy very happy indeed look beastie with it and another thing we might do we might just jack it up a little bit not a lot just not ridiculous just a little bit as well but yeah very happy with that so if you notice i've only got one trailer now um and this one here. So I've actually, the other two you saw in the last video, I've actually sold them. Uh, I literally put them on eBay and sold them within two days. This one I've just bought, and I'm gonna paint the frame on the bottom. It's not rotten, it's just, uh, you see it's proper good. It's just rusted a little bit. Um, there's the wheels for it. So uh, yeah, this one I only paid 85 pound for, and I'm hoping to sell it. I'll probably try and get 150 pound for it, like the other two. Um, but yeah. Like I say, I did buy these odd little trailers because they, um, uh, I quite like doing them to be honest. But like I said, this one I'll keep because this one um, is proper solid and this one I can buy things with. Um, cause it's sort of big enough and it's well made if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for this video. Not quite sure what the next video is gonna be. We're sort of up to date on the truck at the minute. We're up to date on the Jag. Um, there's nothing actually at this precise moment I need to do to any of them. Um, like I said, I've just been doing an odd few of these trailers and things, but you never know, we may buy a project or something. Now we've got a proper trailer to pick things up with and we may fix something else, you know. We've still got the little videos to do and the little Atco lawnmower with the kickstart, which I haven't even started yet. All the videos, I haven't even started that really. Um, all it did was a head gasket on it and that was it. Uh, so yeah, we, we've got to catch up with a couple of more little jobs now and uh, yeah, we'll make some more videos, but li literally at the moment, I'm not sure which the next one's going to be. So it could be a two or three weeks before you get another video, or it could be quite quick. It just depends what time I get and what I've done. All right. So, uh, yeah. So thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching. And any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if anyone wants a link to this snorkel, um, I can give you one.
I think, if I find out, if I can remember how to do it. Uh, but if not, they're on eBay. If you put in off Trek and put Ford Ranger, they are on eBay, yeah? Uh, and my opinion is the quality of this one is as good as the Deer one. This is actually really, really good quality. So it actually shocked me. I was expecting it to turn up and be a bit naff, you know what I mean? But it actually was top notch. Uh, and it fits perfect as well, so that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.